The transatlantic trafficking and trading of enslaved peoples and the horrific subjugation of life on southern plantations stained the nation with a legacy so brutal and sickening that the ramifications are still haunting to this day. Prior to the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation issued by President Abraham Lincoln in 1863, prominent anti-slavery figures in the abolitionist movement sacrificed everything, including their own lives, to end slavery once and for all. One man that organized the freeing of enslaved peoples by any means was the legendary hero, John Brown. A man of strong convictions, John Brown believed he was an instrument of God to end American slavery, even if it meant doing so with violent tactics. In 1850, the Fugitive Slave Act was passed, which meant that the formerly enslaved peoples who had escaped the free states could be charged and returned to their abusers in the South. In response to this, John Brown began bringing those who he had rescued to Canada to ensure their freedom was permanent. John Brown was willing to go so far as to kill pro-slavery forces, and did so in various skirmishes during this period. Frustrated by the lack of results from pacifist tactics in the abolitionist movement, John Brown was ready to act and was planning to raid the Harper's Ferry Armory in Virginia. John Brown and his 22 men were met with resistance by the United States Marines, including Robert E. Lee, and it ended with John Brown's men killing four and losing 10. John Brown was arrested, tried, and hung immediately after. This is an excerpt from John Brown's last speech in court. In the first place, I deny everything but what I have all along admitted. The design on my part to free the slaves. I intended, certainly, to have made a clean thing of that matter, as I did last winter when I went into Missouri and there took slaves without the snapping of a gun on either side, moved them through the country, and finally left them in Canada. I designed to have done the same thing again on a larger scale. That was all I intended. I never did intend murder or treason or the destruction of property, or to excite or incite slaves to rebellion, or to make insurrection. I have another objection, and that is, it is unjust that I should suffer such a penalty. Had I interfered in the manner which I admit, and which I admit has been fairly proved, for I admire the truthfulness and candor of the greater portion of the witnesses who have testified in this case. Had I so interfered, in behalf of the rich, the powerful, the intelligent, the so-called great, or in behalf of any of their friends, either father, mother, brother, sister, wife, or children, or any of that class, and suffered and sacrificed what I have in this interference. It would have been all right, and every man in this court would have deemed it an act worthy of reward, rather than punishment. punishment. punishment.